Hi, this is Dean from Sentinel Candles. In today's project, I'm gonna be doing an ocean loaf. This consists of like a light brown at the bottom of the loaf, and then using clear base as it goes up, getting lighter from blue to dark blue. So I myself have been watching YouTube videos, and I came across one from Soap Fantasy. Now, usually I don't try and copy someone else's soap design, but in this case, I'm gonna give it a go. So the one that I was looking at is called Ocean Heart. Now I'm gonna do something slightly different. I'm not gonna be using clay at the bottom I'm just going to be using brown dye but I'm going to try and mimic everything else that this soap maker has done I'll put a link to her video in the description below so for this design I'm going to be using this brown it's actually a gold color but it's come out quite nice and brown with goat's milk that's going to be the ocean floor and if you're wondering I actually made it into a heart but I never got around to using it the rest of the design will be made in clear and I'll be adding some goat's milk as white just as swirls the dyes I'll be using are blue. I'll also be using Kelly Green and Violet. So my fragrance for this loaf is Hawaiian Breeze from Aussie Candle Supplies. And as you can see on here on the label, and I've double checked with the manufacturer, it says soap safe 23%. Now I'm really not sure if that's correct or not. I've asked them and they've confirmed it. But if you have a Hawaiian Breeze, can you please check the bottle or the manufacturer or the supplier and tell me in the comments below what percentage they recommend. I think 23 is quite high. Normally I only go to two or 3%. So I'm actually gonna be sticking with 3% today just to be safe. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're at the first pour and this is the goldy brown seabed that we're gonna be pouring. It's about 135 grams. I've got this loaf on a slight angle here. You can see at the bottom, I've got some things under it, just holding it on an angle. Hopefully they'll stay there throughout the whole pour. Then I'm gonna manipulate it like the lady in the video does with just pushing it. So here we go. Okay, so we're gonna spray that. Okay, so I'm gonna let that set for a bit and then I'm gonna manipulate it a little bit. Okay, so now this is somewhat set. I'm just gonna use this little uh, device and because it's got a hard top on it, it's really the only thing that I could find around the house that I could use. So I'm gonna use this and push it in to the soap base to give it like little bumps. Okay, so that's that part. Now I'm gonna pour in my aqua color. Okay, so I've looked through all my dyes and I couldn't find one that was called aqua. So I'm gonna have to make it. Now from what I understand, it's uh, two blues and one green, but in order to do that with the amount of soap that I'm gonna be using, it's gonna be way too much. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pour some rubbing alcohol in this little container, and then I'm gonna put the dye in and mix it all around and only pour a little bit of that into the actual soap base. That way I won't get the full exposure of three drops of dye. So it comes out an aqua color. Okay, so I've melted down 250 grams and I've added that tiny little bit of one green and two blues into this and it's, uh, it's created this most amazing aqua color. Spray this with rubbing alcohol and pour in. I've also got this on a lean, just like I did before, but going the other way, so I've turned the loaf around. So spray that with rubbing alcohol. So I'm just gonna wait for a minute. I've got some white goat's milk that is melting down right now, and I'm gonna drizzle it in over the top of this to create like a swirl type effect. I'm not gonna put a lot in it. It's gonna be a very small amount. Okay, so the goat's milk soap has hit 125 degrees, and I'm just gonna spray the top of this and just drizzle it in. I'm just gonna give it a little swirl and a push down. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray that. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for that layer to set and then I'll pour the next one in over the top. Okay, so this base has now been set and I'm just gonna use this device again and push into the soap base and get uh, textures. I found that the clear is a lot easier to use this with than the goat's milk. 
the goat's milk seems to crack up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to melt down the next one and pour it in over the top. Okay, so my second base is now melted down and I'm just going to spray. So this is the base. It's definitely a darker blue. So I'm going to pour. Okay, just going to spray the top of that. Get rid of the bubbles. Now we're going to pour the white in over the top as we did the one underneath. Okay, so I'm just going to spray the top. I'm going to pour in. Gonna spray that. Now I'm just gonna move it around. Okay, so this layer has now dried and I'm gonna use this tool again, but I also might use my finger. So the next layer I'm doing has got violet in it, which should give the blue a little bit darker. Now looking at it in hindsight, I probably should have done darker first, then gone to a lighter and then the top. So I've got one more layer to put on, which is blue and violet, but then I'm also gonna try and add like a top white on it as well. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the next base is ready and I've added the violet uh, liquid dye to it. So I'm just gonna spray the top of this and pour. Okay, so spray the top. Now I'm gonna add some white goat's milk to the top of this and swirl it in. Okay, so just gonna spray that. Okay, so that's the top. Now I'm gonna add a white on top of that. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this layer has now set and I'm just gonna move my finger around and make some indents. It's got a little bit of a indent to it. Hopefully that will come out really nice when I cut it. Okay, so the next layer is goat's milk and I'll be back in a minute to pour that. While my goat's milk is melting down, I thought I might add some titanium dioxide. This is from Aussie Soap Supplies. It's basically gonna make the goat's milk soap whiter. Okay, so my goat's milk has melted down. I've added my titanium dioxide, which is the white dye, to get away from the cream color and go more of a pure white color because this is like an ocean type design. So I'm gonna spray the top with rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna pour. Okay, I'm gonna spray the top again. Okay, now, normally I don't mess with the top, uh, but in this case, I am gonna mess with the top. And once this goes a little bit soggy, then I'm gonna use my thumb again and push it up and down and move it around a bit, just like the other layers. So they're all sort of identical. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I think this is, this is certainly getting uh, colder, but I don't know if it's ready for me to start playing with it. And I'm gonna be using this device again. So here we go. Okay, so it's not a major bump at the top, but it's at least it's something. So I'll be back tomorrow to unmold it. Okay, so it's the next morning and I'm gonna unmold this Hawaiian breeze. Oh wow, check that out. Finally got my colors right. Good connections to guess we need to cut her open. All right, so how amazing did this turn out? I am in love with this soap. This just turned out so amazing. 
it's a uh, aqua green and a bluey then blue with violet and a white top on it. So this is scented with Hawaiian Breeze. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. If you'd like to find the original tutorial that I followed, I've placed it in the description. It's from Soap Fantasy, and it's called Ocean Heart. So let me know what you think of this soap. Thanks for watching.